Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Harold Halibut. So, it's time to go look after Fishy once again. And something's probably gonna happen, right? Maybe? I hope so. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, fishy dreams. The world is <gasps> They're alive! Did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? Wheel? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple. A pineapple. Uh, no. What else? Paper? <laughs> don't panic or die. Please. Just wait. Come on, Harold, think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs' notes. Nothing I can use. <laughs> Burrows, what are you dithering over? He's awake. alive! He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempt to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... <sighs> they seem to have fainted again. Harold, you said they said, we you. Anything else? And some skis, skis, pineapple, notes. Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, <laughs> What? Is, maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau, I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Mm, okay. Not a bad idea yeah, at all, Harold. That could work. I'll fetch some recording equipment too. In the meantime, we're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. Right. You can't take their tongue. You klutz. I mean their language. Okay. <laughs> but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. True, oh, true. Oh. All right. Let's go then. Need some picture books. Oh, that's again not the right button. Don't have any optional tasks. Got it. Okay, why am I yawning and like feeling tired? It's not great. Okay, um, we're going to Central State. No, determined. Social? Now, relax. We're going to Social oh, District. Yeah. Sorry, this is the wrong place. Yeah, alrighty. Hello. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Just interrupting class. Oh, Harold, what brings you here? Chris. I need some pictures. Uh, of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. Picture books. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be <laughs> challenging yourself a bit. No, 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 no. Yes, I will. But I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, no, I really need it now. Very Harold, much so. Uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really <laughs> need a nice book. It's very okay, hard to co communicate when you can't tell but the secret. You'll have to watch the bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't let them under your skin. We will okay, try. Mustache. Don't let them bully you. Chris, what? Wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, Bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnabob gone? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris... I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, a favor. I have a question. 
I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Okay. Where did babies come from, Mr. <laughs> uh, just Harold is fine. And I'm... I don't know if they want you... People. Who are my parents? I know you're just trying to tease what? me. No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like uh, two people grow you and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not not the... When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? <laughs> um, when you take responsibility and help others. You'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you... Why aren't you a teacher? Um, We're not good with kids, reasons, that's why. Mainly because... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? It's We've been asking that for generations. You're a stranger, <laughs> and I've always been told not to talk to strangers. Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone, please slow down. Okay, now. Who wants to learn about filter maintenance? <laughs> there you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. Well, no, no trouble at all. Great. I don't know if I would define it as no trouble. Great. <laughs> Oh, hold on. You know, I gotta go see if I can have any shenanigans over here. Okay, that's closed. Okay. Can't talk to the announcer guy again. Hey. Groovy music. All right. Well, goodbye. And that's the end of the hallway. All right. I will see you back over at the lab. All righty. We've got the picture book. It's time to learn an alien language. Probably could have used a couple picture books, to be honest, but, you know, details. Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. <laughs> Wake up. I'm back. Hello. Wake up. Hi. Oh, I'm glad that they're mount they're montaging this. So that way we don't have to see the cringe. <laughs> or hear the cringe anyway. Oh my, it's a very fancy car. I feel like you might be more successful if you had like a, I don't know, a more universal story. Why'd you go backwards? Also, generally picture books have at least a little bit of text. But, apparently, that's not helpful. So. Oh, well. Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh! Oh. oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh, I can understand you. <gasps> Yay! I can understand you. 
So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora. It's a ship. We're from Earth. Well, why why is, is Moreau just letting us all do this? Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. <laughs> I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. It's kind of weird that it didn't translate her voice. I have so, so many, many questions. questions. Hooray! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oof. Where'd all the boxes go? I can't tell if the glitching is supposed to be part of it. Or if that's the game or my screen going weird. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Skipped ahead quite a few days there, huh? So do we still need the translator or has there been learning on... Fishy's side. Do we have a name for Fishy? So, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Will you go on? Well, uh, yes. Uh, we get more within the air from them. And other things. Like food? Okay. Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. I see. Hey, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Okay, Perfect. okay. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it, too. Okay. But how do we I get see. there? Hmm. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Okay. Uh, okay. Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. Okay. No great plan was ever made without it. Sure. Wii U can have human food. That's fine. Tea. Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. True. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the light keepers. What's their plan in all this? True, true. I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side. Whoever they are. I guess so. Okay. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. T does make you talkative. <laughs> Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how true, about you, Harold? True, true. I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Yes. You two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, sure. Bond. It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? <laughs> no, Wii U. It's, it's, it's metaphorical. Invisible emotional thing great nice to carry true true do you miss where you came from at all not really 
I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. All right. I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. <laughs> to the cave? Yes. To investigate the source of the particles. Do we get but like I a want to go, scuba I gear? Everything and people would notice me gone. But true, true. Me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact. And after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? A little bit, oh, yeah. Sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? You'll just be observing. All taking right. readings. Letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet. Okay. To see. Ooh. What are Flumilim? Ooh. That's a hard one to translate. It means things you can talk to. Ah. Like everyone back at the cave. So people. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind. No. It's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. Ah, okay, I don't okay. I don't mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. You all have so many classifications for everything. True, we do get a bit Even carried away with that. Male or female? Now that's confusing. <laughs> I suppose that's true. So, do you not have a... Uh, Two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay. All right. We'll do. Great. Sounds so like a plan. Settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's going to be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Harold come with me? Ah. Just follow me. I have a little something to show you. Both. Yeah, all right. Do you have a suit? Or is it like uh, a submarine? Why? What about me? No! Well, at least I'm getting my steps in. <laughs> La da 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 All right. So, okay, you're over there. Oh, I, I guess there has been that thing here the whole time, huh? Careful. All right. Now it is my turn. Here we go. Into the hole. So we can visit the other hole. It's a lot of holes today, huh? Kind of weird. Ooh. It's a boat. Or a submersible. Oh. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short range planetary surface analysis. Okay. Yeah. It will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Okay, cool. Oh. What does it do? Well, I developed an update to the translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA, so you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Okay, oh, cool. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. Nice. Plus, it allows me to stay in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? It should do. I developed a super efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Okay, cool. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. Nice. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Got it. Unlike that toaster, these aren't easily replaced. 
I won't. I'll be careful about everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. Okay. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun for me. All right. You will. I guess even in a life-threatening situation where we have a limited amount of time, we can have some fun. So it's a good, valuable lesson to have. I'm surprised that you're not like out in the water leading the way. Beep, 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 beep. Here we go. Complete chapter. Oh, complete chapter bread. two. Oh I my. This panel shows. What happens if I push this? Whoa! Too fast. Maybe let's get out into the open water first. Come on, come on, come on, come on stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. Or blow a hole in the ship. <laughs> Here we go through the sea. Aww. Seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, I have control. So less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. Right. <laughs> That's a rock. I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Mm, wasn't easy. Dark and chilly. Don't like either. But once I had started, okay. I just wanted to see what there was. I had to keep going. All right, all right. New, very light, less chilly, lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. True. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Ooh, oh, fancy. Everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. All right, cool. The proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, we are the boss. Woo, 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 Take us woo. away. <laughs> away we go. All right. We're almost there now. Okay. Careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Got it. I think I see it. Going to be a tight squeeze. Beep. 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 Nice. Hello. We're really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. We'll just get a little wet. That's all right. All right. I mean, we really could have gotten this closer. I don't know if I'm moving him or not. Come on, Howell. It's not so hard. We don't really swim a lot, do we? Oh, land. Finally. Land. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land. Real alien land what do you mean it's just a bit of rock come on up i mean this is kind of new for humans so or at least me as so a human much rock real rock bumpy and slightly warm and... yes rock is okay it's rock ah oh, we it's just that the fedora it's all metal it's not real ground right 
I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? <laughs> I mean, sure, but... Just a rock to take home. Walking on it is kind of... Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Okay. And soon, we'll get there. Wow. We're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. Ooh. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow, what's gonna be there? I can already kind of see it. It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is. And what... Are you okay, Howell? This... Dang. Is your home? Well... Not my. Our. Our place. Right, right. Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. All right. Guess we'll just keep moving along. So, this is the cave. It's. Whoa. Magical. So much space. We. What is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? <laughs> Explain your society. We demand to know for research purposes. And just for the wonder of it all. I can't run. I just have this leisurely stroll. Where is everybody else? This is a solar system? Oh, hello. Uh, Howell, I've got to take care of something, but I'll be back soon. Oh, sure. Should I wait somewhere? Yes, at the waiting bench. Okay. Sounds cozy. Hello. That means hi there. I thought it might. Tell them I say hi back. Will do. Okay, let's go. Sit cozy, Howell. Back soon. Yeah, all right. So, what are you waiting for? I wonder if it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. <laughs> hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? <laughs> Maybe it needs more calibrating. It's possible. Do you know Wii U? Do you know Wii U? Good. <laughs> I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? Okay. You have no idea what I just said. How are you finding the weather in here? <laughs> How are you finding the weather in here? I think it's nice in here. Warm, but not clammy. And no sudden trots when you change rooms. <laughs> <laughs> True. So what are you waiting for? So what are you waiting for? Burp. Ah, that. True, true. What's the latest news? What's the latest news in the cave then? Not too talkative, huh? Burp, burp. So you come here often? So you come here often? Burp, burp. Right. Gosh. This reminds me of one time I was waiting in the all-water reception office. I was stuck in there with Nellie Hootsalot for an hour, and let me tell you, she was not a lot of hoots. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. True enough. Ow. Ow. 
Oh, hi. Hi. Opa. Oh, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi. Opa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, you liked the noise. Hit it again. I don't know if you if you're trying to make me do something specific. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm confused. What do you want from me? Oopa? Harold uh, and Man of Science and everything has an explanation, but you have... Have you ever... ever have you experienced any ghost-like phenomena in the lab district recently? That I am sure I felt the presence sneak behind me. More corroborating evidence needed. Sunny, hey Harold, I was thinking about your alien fish friend. Clearly you really care about them. You tell me if it was more than a normal pet, right? Chris, Harold, my, ma my man, say my protein snacks from the TV lounge seem to have t been snacked on. You know, these things aren't very good for you unless you're pumping iron, too. Unless, did you start working out? If you need a training buddy, you know who to ask. Um, Harold, what's with all the brightly colored crumbs on the lab table? Did the two of you stay up late again? I can't work with all in this mess. Get with the cleaning. And hey, Harold, who know? Uh, no, you must be busy. No worries. Just wondered if you'd seen my message. Just wanted to run my new book idea by you. I see. Oh, okay. Well, now I can actually run. So we really... Okay, we really are just gonna leave, huh? Hello. Oh. Hello. Data check. Ah, uh, translator needs some more calibration, I think. Data check. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm. Can't understand you. Oh, um, am I talking too fast? What's in the cave? Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. But wait, what? Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet, and maybe you'll happen to explain. Wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly gloop, or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here, or... Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it, or offering? Sorry, it's a very good question. To say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U. Yeah, right. Ta-ta. All right. Hello. Good boy. Okay. What's all this then? Hi. So, um, what are these things? Uh, what do you say? Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. True, true. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. Sorry. Just sit and gloopo. I wonder what gloopo is. 
or art. Maybe the things in the nooks? I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Sorry, oh. sorry. I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe? Shh. Sorry, sorry. Got it. What are you two doing? Can I play? Hi there. Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. All right. Sorry. Don't touch. Got it. All right. Let's go this way then. Can I talk to you? Ooh. Oh my. Okay. Fascinating. Okay. Can't seem to do anything there. Oh. Okay. More stairs over here. Very nice. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. <laughs> what? I see. Fascinating. Children? Oh. Hello there, little ones. Yes, come on. This way. Oh, no. Follow us for tick tickety. Tick tickety? Sure! Sounds like a great idea. That won't be horribly bad for me. Is this a game? Oh, fascinating. Oh. Okay. Um. Sure, it must be some sort of game. Do we what? Hop between the light? That's a giant pole. Like this? Interesting. Okay. What am I <laughs> what am I participating in? <laughs> I really hope this is just some sort of game or activity and not some sort of magical ritual. Duh. God, I'll stay. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not being super rude somehow. La da da di di da. Are you about to do a fusion dance? You are? Oh my gosh. Um, r right. There's only one of me. Copy them. How bad can it be? Hey, we seem to be doing it. Okay. Was that fun? What are you doing? Oh, oh no, am I, 
are they is is this is it what what do you think i don't know <laughs> i'm getting a greeting ritual badly wrong <laughs> no you're just playing around with those cheeky kids okay i think they love you now oh so great I'm not offending everyone well, you're not exactly being polite, but I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. <laughs> Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair and lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tip tickety anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Okay, okay, cool. I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Okay. Of course. Um. Did you tell them I was coming? Was coming? It's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Okay. Come on. Sure. Um, no, actually. <laughs> uh, we're at about time. So we're going to stop and we will explore the cave with Wii U next time. So look forward to that. But for now, that's going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So... See ya!